In this video we're going to do the right conic frustra as it's called in this example or the frustrum of a cone as a sheet metal development. First of all we're going to draw the first projection of this. Uh, I'm doing it in SolidWorks if you want to follow along by hand then perhaps watch this video on fast forward and you'll get the general idea. But the whole of this video hinges around one idea that the length of this line here which is not actually dimension the length of that line you'll have to measure it manually can be put into an equation whereby if we divide the radius by this length times it by 360 will get the angle of the arc. So you'll soon see what I mean. So heading over to SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to draw this construction. And in SOLIDWORKS, I've already set up the layers as described in the first video. And I'm going to change the layer to begin with to construction. And throughout these videos, I am using these relations just to keep everything working. You, put, you might see these little glyphs pop up. So another example of that is the midline. So I'm going to draw a vertical line, tag it as vertical. I'm then going to click the main line, hold down shift and click the end point and click midpoint and they'll attach together. We'll dimension that up according to the drawing, which was 70. Now we'll put our dimensions on the correct layer. And we will select the main layer and draw in our lines. We'll offset the given distance of 40. Correct a mistake that I made. 65 and offset 40. and then trim back. Just dimensions and reset layers as required. That's right clicking on that horizontal line and putting it back on the main line layer. And we're gonna, whilst on the main layer, draw over the final bits of Geometry. Swap back to the construction layer. Two circles to draw here. The first is to the top inside point. The next <clears throat> is to that outer point there. And just watch for little bits like this no reason why that should have happened so we just need to correct as we go so we're going to remove our circle remove that bogus line and try again now we're going to take a couple of measurements from this so next to our line here we're going to work out what the measurement of this is and if we take a measurement there it turns out to be 71.59 and in fact it won't be 71.59 it's likely be a much greater number so what we'll do is double click the dimension change the maximum number of decimal points just make a note of that i like to do it in the calculator copy that and we'll need that shortly. Leave that out of the way. To calculate the angle, divide the base up radius <coughs> by the overall construction radius. So next job is to put a construction line in. Roughly about there. And we need to dimension this up here and rather than leave it just as the, the dimension that we were given there we can have our length so to follow our instruction here divide the base arc radius so in that case it's 30 it's got 60 diameter 30 slash 
our length of the overall triangle hypotenuse times it by 360 and it turns out to be 150.86 so using our main layer we can fill in the rest of the development.